Hey guys, welcome to tonight's BB Can 9 chat. It's two years in the making. It's, <gasps> it's the finale. finale night. It's the finale. Yeah, we make up our own words to the we do. theme song. All right, so it's two years in the making. They had a super long, it was extended recap. This recap was longer than season eight. <laughs> it was long, but I enjoyed it. Why not? Great. They showed the sunsetters. They showed the sauce. Mm -hmm. They showed the olds. They showed the oddballs. They showed the glossy bosses. A lot of different alliances going and on spicy this season. V. Yeah, spicy V. All by herself. I mean, she's a legend, so. She doesn't need anybody else. <laughs> she was my favorite. Yeah. I must say. All right, well, season. it's down to the final three. Yeah, last time we found out that the final three was... Te uh, what was it? Trickshot Tara. Uh, Ty the Bishop. Mm -hmm. That was a very long extended uh, chess game. Yeah. And Braden the Social Butterfly. Mm -hmm. Also known as the under underestimated underdog. Yeah, I mean, what was so awesome to me about this... I mean, there's a lot of awesome things about this oh, season. Yeah. But with this final three specifically, I felt like any of them could win. Mm -hmm. They all brought something different to the table. They all had such vastly different... They were Pass. all in different alliances. Yeah. So it was, it's a great final three, I think. Yeah, it wasn't like one, um... One alliance that all made it to it the end It didn't dominate, no. Yeah, no, they all had their own path to get to the right. final. All right, so let's get right to it. The final HOH. It's oh in goodness. three parts. And we're going to start with part one, which was brutal. Oof. Brutal. It was a four... Hour competition. Four hour limit on this competition. You had to push your hoverboard on a track, I yeah, guess it was. Yeah, on a track. And you ha they had these uh, wafers, discs. Mm -hmm. You had to stack up 60 of them on your hoverboard and push it back and forth. It was kind of like the apple cart uh, sort of. one, but cooler, <laughs> more intense. Mm -hmm. Um, this is one of those competitions that you just always have to keep keep going because there were going right. to be so many like power shifts during this yeah. where like somebody could be almost done and then one little misstep and like everything somebody is gone. sneezed or somebody farted and yeah. then it's, uh, it just knocked it right over. I mean the discs were on this very tiny peg. Right. Well you had two pegs that you mm -hmm. could stack your discs. And you had to stack up 60 of these discs. Yeah. And you could only do five at a time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could only add five at Ooh, a time. Ooh, this was brutal. Mm -hmm. They were very precariously placed on the hoverboard. Yeah. People were losing them in the 40s. People were losing them in the 50s. That's rough. Ooh. At um, one point, Tara even had, yeah, 55, she had 55. And then, bleh. She's like, I only need five more. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so they actually went the full four hours with nobody getting it. Yeah. So Big Brother was like, we gotta go. We we got plans. We can't be here all we night. We got dinner reservations. Uh, our husbands and wives or significant others are calling up and saying, we want a divorce. This is ridiculous. So they Let's said, not get too carried away here. We You only need 40. And you can now add 10 at a time. Right. So they're like, let's get this over with. Right, so Brayden, uh, he won. Wow, he won part one. Brayden, part one. So he advances directly to part three, and that means that Ty and Tara facing off in part two. Right. So Arissa took some time, which was very nice, at the beginning of the season mm -hmm. to recognize that the show was being filmed on, uh, was it Ancient Lands? or well, First Nations. First Nation, yeah. right. And she, again, thanked... Uh, showed gratitude for that. Yeah. For the closing of the show. I think show. that's awesome. It was almost like the Olympics where they have like the beginning ceremony yeah. and then the ending <laughs> ceremony. I like that. Yeah. I mean, really, that was the right thing to do. Mm-hmm. All right. So now let's continue with the next Part composition. Two. Yeah. It's called Light em Up. So, basically, well, I don't know how many questions there were. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how many questions, but... Quite a few. This was a cool setup for the competition, the way that the questions, like, wrapped around... In a triangle. Mm-hmm. Was it a triangle? It, it had three sides, okay. yeah. 
Some sides were longer than others. Was it sauce? It might have been. <laughs> uh, some had like four or five questions on one side, and you had to knock off the incorrect answer and mm-hmm. just leave the correct answer. Yeah, so this was a combination mental and physical competition. Right. And some of the questions had multiple answers. Mm-hmm. So that made it even more difficult. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tara had a lot of trouble with one question, and it ate up quite a lot of time. Yeah, it looked like she wasted a lot of time on it. <sighs> Only on one question, though. But, I mean, it seems to, like, she had a hard time at first actually, like, hitting the blocks and well, knocking them down. I mean, she wasn't the only one because Ty was like, um, I play basketball, I don't play baseball. I don't know what they were talking about because Ty was like... I felt like he was knocking him over like it was nothing. Really? In the beginning, I I thought he went like four or five before he actually hit one. I don't know. It seemed to me like he had much better accuracy with his throws. I mean, they were literally like five feet away. It's know. not like they were throwing it across the studio. Well, yeah, but still. All, All right. right. Well, whatever. Well, he won part two. Whoa. So that's bad news for Tara because it was looking pretty certain... That they were going to take each other. That Brayden and, Ty- and Ty would take each other to the end, so... Yeah. I don't want to say I told you so about, like, the Keeping the Kiefer Kiefer. thing, but... You know, she said she didn't want to beat the best, but... No, she said she couldn't. Oh, she couldn't beat the best. You have to get to the end before you start thinking True. about who you can beat or not. Yeah. I mean, it was going to be risky for her either way mm-hmm. because she was probably going to have to win that final competition herself anyway and she just yeah. couldn't pull out the wins. But I do think she would have had a better chance against Kiefer than against Brayden. Mm-hmm. So, who knows how things would have played out, but yeah, this is where we're at. It's looking real good for Brayden and Ty. Good for yeah. them. All right, let's take a break and... Uh, check in with the jury. Jury round table. Woo! You gotta love it. And this year they had Anthony Douglas. Oh, Poutine, Poutine Poppy. Papa? Poppy? Poppy? I thought it was Poppy, wasn't it? I don't know. <laughs> you watched more of that season than I did. <laughs> Who cares? Oh my god. Right. <laughs> it's Poppy. Okay. Well, yeah. I was I felt bad that he had to leave his mask on the entire time, but yeah, I thought it was very responsible, so I like He's that. not in the Big Brother bubble. No, he's not. All right, so... I guess it made more sense to let him wear the mask and have the whole jury have theirs off. I mean, they really could have done virtual, but... Whatevs. Anyway, it was good to see him come back. Yeah. And I thought he asked some really good questions. Well, they asked Spicy V what the best part of the jury was, and she said finding out the truth of what Mm. really happened, and I have to agree. Yeah. So, oh, have you been there? I have. <laughs> uh, Kiefer arrived, and everybody was like, oh, man. I mean, they were also saying, like, if these people are smart, they will get Kiefer out next. Because... And then Kiefer arrives, and they're like, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> I was really surprised by uh, them calling Ty a floater. Well, I think a lot of that was Beth, because she was super bitter against Ty. Bitter bitter Beth. Bitter Beth, for sure. Bitter Bethel. Um, but Kiefer really advocated for Ty. He was like, uh, hello, Ty was in and a huge part in on and a huge part of that trapdoor plan. So yeah. he was not just like floating around. He was a huge part of taking out you and Jensen. But what about Tara? She fought her way back in. Yeah and, and they respected it. They did. A lot of times, a jury would be like, no, she's been voted out, so she's definitely not getting my vote. She's damaged goods. We don't want her in here. This jury was all like, yeah, we really, we respect that. I agree. We're into it. I think if somebody can fight their way back into the house, they're just as deserving, if not even more deserving to It be depends there. on the circumstances, to me. If it's a crapshoot, then no. I mean, just the way that this one went down, I would say it has more merit than, like... Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, that guy that won Survivor that was out in, like, the second episode or whatever. And then yeah. He, he ended up winning the whole entire thing. It's a different vibe, but Sorry, whatever. that is a dog chewing a toy. If it's he wasn't chewing barking. right now, he would be barking. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He loves and Big Brother. He's he, very excited. He incredibly loves Big Brother. <laughs> um, I'm surprised we didn't call him uh, bro. All right, so Brayden, he was underestimated. Yeah, I mean, they were all like, raise your hand if you under- underestimated. And everyone raised their hand. I did too. 
All right, so... So it seems like everybody's got a chance here. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. But now it's time for the third part. But first... We're going to have a check-in with the final three. Oh. What did you think of Arissa's dress tonight? I enjoyed it. I usually enjoy Arissa's fashion choices. Her fashion is always cutting edge. Mm -hmm. On point. On point. I this, thought all the house guests looked great. I thought this was a beautiful dress. It oh, yeah. It was wonderfully draped. I love that color on her. It was a great color on her and her makeup and her hair always on point. Yeah. And not only the look, but I just feel like Arissa was such a huge part of making this season as amazing well, as it she was. She's a producer. A producer. This yeah, season? she's an yeah. executive producer now. So thank you, Arissa. Arissa, you did a great job. You're Not incredible. That you'll never see this, but yeah, you're incredible. We appreciate you. All right. So uh Tara. She told Arissa she never thought she'd make it this far. Mm. And I have to agree. She had quite a journey. She did. And, and it was entertaining as hell. It was. <laughs> I mean, like, not so much in the beginning, but towards yeah, the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Brayden, representation is everything. Yes, that is one of the reasons that this season was so absolutely yes, amazing. I have to agree. I have to agree. I really hope that BBUS is going to follow suit this summer. One can only hope, right? I mean, they made the pledge, but let's see if they follow through. And Ty said... Holy! That four-hour challenge was super hard. Oh my god! You could just see the frustration on their faces during that. They actually, they were. He was the only one where they showed him like losing it, like cursing yeah. about uh, wiping out. Yeah. All right. Uh, it was brutal though. All I right. would not. <laughs> I would always think I would really love to go on the show, except I would never win a competition because I would just suck. I thought so you were gonna hard. say because you didn't want to poop on camera. <laughs> well, that too, but uh, I would never win a competition. When I see how hard these people go on the competitions, oh yeah, I would never be H O H. Sorry, I'm not getting your letter. No. All right, so um, it's time for the part three of the yes. final H O H. And Braden and Ty walk into the competition oh, area. Oh, the setup was so cool with the comic book, like yeah. live comic book. I love yeah. that. And then the wall went up between them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't even realize there was a wall at first. I was like, wait a second, can't they see what the other person is <laughs> answering? No, they can't. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah, so that was good. It was questions about the jury. Mm -hmm. You had to answer A or B. Yeah. And they both missed one question. Yeah, and, and it wasn't and, the same question either. Right. So it was kind of exciting. It was like, it was very oh my exciting. God, is this one going to run away with it? Is this one going to... Mm -hmm. Nope. They were tied up until the last question. I mean, here's the thing. Like, we had a feeling that they'd be taking each other to the end, but I feel like with this jury, a lot was hinging on who won this final HOH. Who was shaking who. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was a big deal. Right. So Ty ended up winning. Whoa. In a tie breaker. Well, well it wasn't an official tie I think it was breaker, just the last question, right? But the last question yeah. broke the tie. Mm -hmm. All right. So Ty stands up and evicts Tara. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tara we goes knew out that to was see coming. Rissa. And Tara said, I wouldn't change a goddamn thing. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if Tara was just like feeling herself or what, but like something weird was going she, on. Was she on like mushrooms or something? I don't know about or... mushrooms, but she seemed very animated, chill and relaxed. Chill? I thought she was very, very chatty. I don't know. There was something going on though. I was like, Tara? <laughs> yeah. Uh, she's team Brayden all the way. Yeah. She's very close with Brayden now. And she's proud uh, that she made it this far. And I mean, she really turned it out in the last few weeks. So She said, I'm glad I could make my kids famous at school. Yeah. She didn't say that. I said that. I think she can be proud of how she played. Absolutely. So now let's trot out the jury. Ooh. Whoa, we've got Spice CV, S <laughs> Rohan, Rosho, mm -hmm. Tina, uh, Jedson, Beth, uh, Keep. I thought that said Reefer. It says Kiefer, and Tara joins in. Oh, some. I mean, I felt like some of them seemed a little disappointed to see her. I think a lot of people because were rooting they for said her. that. <laughs> I couldn't hear exactly what they were saying. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Yeah. All right, so they had their questions, their jury questions. Can we just talk to you about how monumental it is to have two black men in the final two? 
Yeah. Amazing. It is amazing. Very exciting and way, way overdue. Yes, for sure. Mm -hmm. So they had their questions for Ty and, and Brayden. And it they were like both they were just alternating pretty extremely much. Extremely well spoken. Oh yeah, they were both giving great answers. Because I can think of some uh, seasons of Big Brother Canada where um, it was a mess. It was a huge <laughs> mess. It was just like and I said, yeah, and I thought then. they both did a really good job yes. um, explaining their their games and answering the questions. So and I was like getting nervous because it seemed like they were both. Like so close, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like just. I thought the jury was this going one's got in a great on Ty a now. This bit. one's got a great. I think the jury was going in on both of them. I don't know. They seemed very happy with Brayden and very like with Ty. Really? Because I that's thought, the vibe that I was getting. I thought the questions were uh, pretty even. Pretty even, you know. Like, mm -hmm. why do you think you should be here? You know, um, convince me. You know, after you screwed me over, why I should keep yeah. you, Beth? Oh, All right, God. so... I felt like it was weird, but kind of expected that Jed's question was basically like, why'd you get rid of Beth? <laughs> <sighs> yes. And Beth's question was, why should I vote for you? Okay, I can't with Beth when she was all like, I shouldn't be here. I should be in the in the final two. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we got the final pleadings. Uh, Ty said, I'm grateful to be here. I had a target on my back since day one. Thank mm -hmm. you, Tina. And um, I never threw anybody that I was working with under the bus. Mm -hmm. But this was crazy because Arissa told them, you only have a minute. And they both went over. To plead your case. A minute? This is a two-hour show. Yeah. This is a two-hour show, and you're only giving them a minute, and you're cutting them off? Like, no, like, music to warn them? Like, an award Honestly, show? Honestly, though, if, the, if they hadn't made up the mind by now... I mean, I feel like usually the jury goes in knowing already how they're going to vote. Absolutely. But still, like, only a minute? They couldn't spare one extra minute for each of them? No, anything more is mental masturbation. And... All right, so Braden said, I was underestimated. Mm -hmm. I was on the He was the, the last person five picked times. when they were choosing the teams on the first day. Oh, really? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. He never got a vote the entire season. But mm -hmm. guess what, Braden? Ty had never had his ass cheeks touch Yeah, he's up. never been nominated. Whoa. Yeah, and by winning that last HOH, it was official, official. Now, wh now wait. He was never nominated, but he, was he ever re a replacement? No, no, right? Okay. He never touched the lock. Right. And Brayden was nominated, and during some really crucial weeks, too, mm -hmm. like the Invisible HOH, the and double. And survived. Yeah, and he survived, and no votes against him. So yeah. that's also an accomplishment. It is a big accomplishment. Mm-hmm. All right, and again, so, Brayden was also cut off after one minute. What? <laughs> all right. Well, it's time to vote. Mm -hmm. Everybody got up there. And, of course, Arissa said, make sure you do this right, kids, because I don't want don't another Don't pull a topaz. topaz. Yeah. So, Spicy V was like, oh, no, no, no Spicy V. <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> the first five were brought in on Zoom. Mm-hmm. And we have Julie, Josh, Latoya, Kyle, and Austin. Uh, Julie wants to be considered for All Stars, please. I would have liked to have seen Julie on the feeds the first week because we didn't really get to see much of her. Yeah. But also, I don't know. <laughs> Julie, Julie's a lot. Um. Okay, like if there's going to be an All Star season, I just feel like there's so many other players from this season that I would want to see come back over, like, the first boot. You, you don't want to see a David come back in? <laughs> don't get me started. Do not get me started. All right. Uh, Josh, I made everyone paranoid, and it kind of continued throughout the season. I mean, I wish we could have seen more of that day three blow up that they were always talking about. Yeah. I really like Josh. I was really bummed out when he got evicted. Mm-hmm. Latoya. Um, Latoya stopped the whole damn show. She freaking had one of the biggest moments of the whole entire finale. Congratulations, Latoya. Oh my god. Okay, so first she was talking about how she was sad to see the Sunsetters fall apart, and then she was like, and I was upset. Like, 
with the, <laughs> see, that we had to see this Jed showmance. and Beth showmance, which no one wanted to see. Yeah. And damn, <laughs> she went wow. in. That was wild. And Beth said, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> That was nuts. Yeah. Did you see Brayden's reaction? No. He was what like, was it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Kyle. I feel like I don't even know you. <laughs> um, but apparently there is there. Some I think Kyle and Austin are like dating. Sort of a. Brayden was pretty excited about showmance? that too. Yeah. Off the showman's nice. Yeah. And um, yeah, like off Broadway. Mm-hmm. Uh, Austin. Thank you. Your eviction helped get Brayden where he is right now. I mean, he did start playing such a different game once he Austin did. left. He had to. Yeah. He had to. All right. So I always call Canada the queen of montages. Oh, yeah. You know, usually Big Brother US, they only show one freaking montage on the fi- on the finale. I don't know. I think they show more than one. Not really. I feel like they waste a lot of time. <laughs> well... Canada, they got montage after montage. I gotta say, mo- this... they have montages of montages. Yeah, right. <laughs> and here are our favorite montages from the yeah. season. <laughs> this fight one though, it slapped. There was a lot of fights. This it season. slapped. There were some good ones. I mean, obviously the best one was the Tara, Tara spicy and v. Spicy V. Well, we also had the Latoya uh, yeah, storeroom one. Room. Uh, Julie and Josh mm-hmm. in the round table or half circle. <laughs> like in the living room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we had... The, the first house meeting, which was an absolute disaster. We had the Ty Beth. Uh, yeah. You, you got him in your back pocket one. Have fun and jury, Beth. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got the... You signed up for this. Or that was one of my favorite... Yeah, yeah, that was my favorite line pretty much from yeah. all the fights. Like, you signed up for this! <laughs> You signed up for 90 days. I want to see my effing kid. <laughs> All right. Oh uh, <laughs> and then uh, Spicy V says that she has no bad feelings for Tara. That's good. I, I mean, like that. And she's going to give her a big hug, like, in two seconds. It seems like a lot of them are getting along. Yeah. Which you love to see. I don't know what's going to happen when everybody gets out there again, but... I like when they all are able to be friends still after. I feel like Canada is much more forgiving than the U.S., it depends on the season. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen with LaToya and Beth, but... <laughs> Does anyone care? <laughs> All right. So, obviously, this was the best casting ever. I don't know if I could call this the best cast ever. I thought it was a great cast. Because I really liked uh, All Stars. The Tim... Which... Was oh, it? that wasn't All Stars. No, but it was, like, returnees. Well, only... Tim Two of them. And, yeah. <laughs> that was my favorite cast. That was a great cast. It was a, an amazing cast. This was a great all newbies cast. And what I loved about this was just like, they were all fighting for it. They all mm-hmm. wanted it. And they were not afraid to really put themselves out there mm-hmm. and play with everything that they had. Yeah. And also, you know, so many people were watching this show and seeing people that looked like them for the first time. Or Let's, seeing more than one person on the same season that looked like them. Let's face it. It's pretty effing boring without representation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty effing boring. Yeah. So, thank you. Uh, we've got um, black. We've got trans. We've got First Nation. We've. Uh, I guess trans goes in with LGBTQ as well, right? Yeah. yeah. Bless but you. But they had five members from that community represented on yeah, this season. Yeah, that's amazing. That has got to be like a record. But we... <laughs> but we had a tissue. Oh. <laughs> Bless you. All right. Wow, it's got all kinds of things happening here. Yeah. And we have also Asian. Mm-hmm. So that is a fantastic representation. And yeah. thank you, Big Brother So many Canada. different walks of life represented this season. It really does it for me because, I mean, I want to learn about other people. I don't want to see myself on the show. You know what I mean? Yeah. But some people are dying to see themselves on the show. Because they haven't haven't had had that opportunity. (laughs) Yeah. So that's amazing, too. Mm Mm-hmm. All right. And now another montage. The Hot Mess Express. Okay. I was really hoping for, like, a gameplay thing. And when it started with the spaghetti fight, I was like... But then it did get into some some That spaghetti fight was ridiculous. (laughs) And the Tina and Tara 
I found a half a crust of bread in the jelly. Mm -hmm. Who did that? Who does that? They were really milking that all season. Yeah. <laughs> but then they got into the messy gameplay. Yeah. And then Arissa asked the jury, who had the messiest gameplay this season? You know. And, like, everyone except for Jed pointed to Beth. Ah! Yeah. Who did Jed point to? No one. He's just like, um. <laughs> I don't know. Not Beth. Yeah. So, I feel like that's definitely going to become a meme. Yeah. Everyone pointing at Beth. Yeah. And she's like. Who, me? <laughs> Loudmouth me? Yeah. All right, so we find out the winner. Oh, my God, this is it. Moment of truth. Ty. Whoa, congratulations to Ty. He won six to one. Tara was the sole like vote really for Brayden. Yeah, I mean, I can't even tell you how entertained I was watching him turn on the thruple, the mm -hmm. sauce. I mean, that was like a game-defining moment you gotta be a little bit evil to win yeah you gotta be a little bit i evil. loved the thai evilness era <laughs> when he made the turn it was great it was that's amazing. how he was wearing that sun hat and the glasses and the jacket he was killing yeah. it it was it was an amazing week to watch unfold yes. um yeah and for the first time ever on big brother canada we got canada's favorite yeah. And we were hoping for Spicy V, but you know what? Kiefer I'm also very is happy with Kiefer. Very worthy. Mm -hmm. He was very entertaining. He had his emotions and his gameplay ran the gamut. Mm -hmm. You know? From emotional to tough guy yeah. to sharing his culture with us. I mean, he was a lot of fun to watch. When Absolutely. You, when it comes down to it, so... What a awesome season. season. Yeah. I just, uh, I hope America can uh, be as good. I know. I hope we can keep this energy up. I mean, I feel like reality TV fans are really, we're feasting right now between yeah. this and the circle yeah. and like. The circle uh, is so good. <laughs> I can't wait for next season. So let's just hope that BBUS is going to. Deliver. Yeah. Because we're coming for you, BBUS. We want, we want the same. Yeah. So we want to thank all of you so much for watching with us this season. You're amazing. This has honestly been one of the best seasons in so long. Yeah. So long. Really and I don't has. just mean for Canada. I mean, like, for all it, of you. For all the franchises. Yeah. That we watch, which yeah. is two. <laughs> but seriously, it, is, it has been a blast. So mm -hmm. thank you all again thank for watching, you. commenting, liking, subscribing, everything. You guys Teamwork are amazing. makes the dream work. Yes, and thank you. Yeah. Oh, and thank you. <laughs> so we'll see you guys all in a few months, right? Yeah, a couple months. If you can't get enough, um, we also have a vlog channel. We have a vegan channel. We have a cookbook coming out this year. Yeah. And we'll be getting you guys some more details on that when we're allowed to. Right. But it's going to be awesome. So. Yeah. Thanks again. And until next time. Much love.